Okay, I got this working. Hmm. Let's see. Hello everyone and welcome back to Song of Horror for more of Episode 3. Now let's sort out these slides. I did have a bit of a play around with this as I was rendering the last video before I had to go last time. And it seems like if we actually view these in sequence, let's just do that. If we actually check them. We go through the slides from left to right and then we go through them from right to left. And sometimes they're not quite as they seem if you just pick them up and view them outside of the projector. So, right, yeah, that box shouldn't look like that. There should be some light on it, there's a photo by it. That guy at the end, he should have a key in his right hand, but he doesn't, he's pointing instead. In fact, it could be that key. It might be that key. And check this out, right, that was down before, now it's up, now the switch is actually up. Right. Okay, so yes, yeah, some of the slides do have differences. Obviously we need to put these in the right order, that's really all I can do. And there's only these five slides, and it seems like... I mean... What's going on here? What are these slides? Yeah, for whatever reason, I decided to pack away my flashlight, and I can't get it back out, I assume, until I've completed the puzzle, so it looks like we do have to sort of sort this out right now. Uh, so, I'm thinking back to the tape that we listened to last time that mentioned when the guy came in and he saw the projector. The first thing he saw was a door. So, I'm assuming that's what he saw, so that's probably the first in the sequence. Let's just have a little look, shall we? Um, Maxwell's notes, was it? Yeah, I could see myself behind it and now it's real, I can open it. The image from the slides is a door. I can get the chain off, but I'm going to need a key. Right. Yes. It's also dark, but if I can get out, maybe there's light out there. Okay. This could be a subtle clue to the order of the slides. Or maybe not. I don't know. But let's keep that one there. Let's just see. So, yeah, we got light. There's the switch on the wall. That's how it should actually look. The box isn't on the floor, it's not in darkness, there's a light on it, there's a photograph. And then the guy at the end... Yeah, he's sitting down, but he's holding the key. Interesting, interesting. What if he moved around a little bit? Let's just sort of move these all around until something happens. <laughs> Let's just try that. Okay, so, a typical door with a chain across it. Okay, so yeah, the box is in darkness. The guy is now missing, right? Okay, where did he go? The switch is down. And the lights, or the wires to the lights, I think are being eaten by rats. Okay. And the switch isn't going up this time as we go back through them. Uh, oh, and he's back, great. <laughs> What's he pointing to? What is that thing on the left? Is that one of the lights? Maybe it's one of the lights and hey, oh. There's something in front of the door now. Okay. So yeah, the sequence is obviously quite important. Um, I would like to see this slide like that, if possible. Let's just put that down there. Where's... Okay. Does this work? Like... I'm just wondering if if we see the lights first, we'll see the lights on the on the slide that okay, yeah, we might see the the light on the other side, on the next one. Yes. Okay. So they each have a strange effect on each other. Now he's standing up. He doesn't have the key, and he's pointing with his other hand. But now the okay now <laughs> now the switch is up. Okay. Okay, the lights are still on. Where's the key? I think I need that key, don't I? No rats, no chewing wires. No chain on the door, though. Okay, so maybe... Is that a door? What is it doing there? I don't know. Oh my god, that was... No. I don't want to ever be within 100 meters of that thing again. And so I... Did I do it? Hang on. 
Okay, I, I still can't get the flashlight out, so maybe that's a bug. I hope it's not, but... Let's see. <laughs> Is this gonna work how I think it's gonna... Oh, that's fucking awesome! Oh, man. I can't believe it. Nor can I. I can't believe you didn't listen to it before you opened the door. Oh man, it's the control room. Okay. Is this... Is this real? Oh, Where shit. am I? I... I don't know. Elsewhere, apparently. Oh man. That's never a good sign. Um, okay, hang on, what's this? We got, okay, there's a saw. And there's a guy holding the lever. A light metallic, easy to handle saw. I don't even want to think about what I'll need to use this for. I think I know what I need to use it for, because I think I, uh, I saw this in the, in the trailer. Oh my god. Use the saw. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Do it after you cut his arm off. Shit. So is that the thing I need to use to hold down the lever? A severed hand. A hand sawn from a strangely mummified corpse. It's all stiff and rigid. How horrible carrying that. <laughs> Give him a little wave. Hey, he's got a ring on. Right. What have I done? I can't believe this is happening. No. Right, so I actually read the comments of the previous video and- Oh, there's boxes in the way. Right, yeah, apparently um, going through that door isn't too dangerous, so I should probably give that a go and maybe get the um, the bolt cutters that are on, are on the other side. So... I can't use that door. I don't even know if that door exists. I see that the lever isn't being pulled down now. Let's see if we can leave. Okay. Oh, okay. I've <laughs> I got my flashlight out, but I'm holding it backwards. What the? Hang on. Put it. Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> I don't know if that was a bug or whatever, but I'm glad I have it back. Right. So, do we just go back down and use the arm on the lever? Do we have it? We have it. <laughs> okay. Right. I quite like this one, actually. Still can't listen to the doors. Hopefully the game isn't going to catch me out. Alright, down we go. Come on, Grace. You're doing well. You're doing really well. Especially with that slide puzzle. That was kind of bullshit, actually. Still no problems in this little corridor? No. And apparently there's no problems on the other side of the door either. We're going through. Bit of deja vu here. Okay. So if I just go around here. Well, let's. Yeah, let's go through here. Let's try this door. I hope you're not trolling me. If you are, then I might just restart. I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Should I open the door and go in? Yeah, I think I will. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay. So it's just a little sort of storage area? Seems like it. What we got here? There's one closed file and another that only contains old documents. Nothing helpful. Well, hopefully this is going to be helpful. Shears. Not bolt cutters, but shears. Okay. Used to cut metal all the same. I guess so. Right. Anything else? Uh, there's some newspapers there, but as we know, Grace doesn't really care about newspapers. Right. Interestingly, in that room, my heart rate was going up. I don't know why, but uh, I'm glad I didn't stay in it for too long. So, let's see if this works. It should work. It worked elsewhere. Right. You can see the fingers gripping it. Yeah, it's sort of clamping it down. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going through. I'm fairly sure you, you didn't really need to go to another dimension to hold that down, you know? Here we go. Sounds good. Let's go. Okay, so where are we now? I swear, if I can't find anything... <laughs> wow. We are in the old archive. The, uh, the very large old archive. And it's... Oh, that's the whine of the camera, isn't it? So... <laughs> where do I start? Do I have to go through every shelf? I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, no, I don't, I'm glad to say. I guess something's gonna jump out at me. Hopefully not literally. Oh, okay, there's something over there. There's nothing here. I'm damned if I know why I'm still searching, but I won't leave before I find something. Okay. Oh, yep. Is that the something? No. <laughs> Looks like I can search these ones on this far wall. Something here? No. What's that? Oh! European families, great and small. The House of Legrand. Oh, okay. The House of Legrand, which later merged with the House of Amsberg and its ups and downs over the years. The rise and fall of an industrial empire and the squandering of a legacy by Argos Legrand, last heir to the huge family fortune, who spent his life obsessed with investigating the paranormal. Make this one of the most thrilling volumes of this collection. Okay. That's it! Got it! I just need to get out of here fast. Right, so there's nothing else? Okay, alright. I need to get out of here fast. Why? Oh. Okay. Did the lights just turn off? Okay. Alright. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Adios. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. No, no. Oh. Okay, so this is new. The abyss. You're sinking. Get out as quickly as you can. So I've got to break my controller with my thumb. Uh, they'll try to catch you by the arms to prevent this X and B at the right time. If you don't manage it, you'll have to free yourself by pressing that same button several times. Okay. All right. I'm sorry in advance, controller. I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> okay. Shit. Okay. Right, 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 right. Yep. Okay. Got you. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, I thought I was going to get dragged under. Oh, my God. Yeah, they grabbed my arm. What just happened? What was that? I don't know. Get the fuck out. Shit, okay. This oh. might have something to do with Husher's investigation. Let's see. Hmm. It's a book about Argos Le Grand. A biography or a collection of articles about him, I think. He apparently spent part of his life traveling the world in search of odd, rare events. Rich people stuff. I don't know. The biography suddenly ends right after his last journey. It says here, he returned without his equipment, without the huge amount of money he wasted on the project, and with the simple memory of the music he brought home to his little girls, eight-year-old Elaine and newborn Ariadne. Right. And here's a note from Hasha that says, see the archives, events newspaper. Is there a newspaper archive over here? Well, you're talking to two people that might know. The History Department's newspaper archives. Hmm. Okay. Is that where Grace is going next? Oh, I see. This is where we get to choose the character again. So, yeah, it's Daniel. It's Omar. Or it's Grace again. Now, I'm kind of curious about maybe choosing Omar, if possible. Because I'm just wondering if they're going to pop up in future episodes. Let's play as Omar, just to change things up a little bit, okay? And if he dies, Grace remained alive. She did her bit, as I said last time. Okay, so... 
Uh, he's got his reading glasses. And he can bring along the wisdom too. Let me go. I know the place. You keep searching this area. Yeah, I don't know if those two are going to pop up in episode four or, or five. I think four is meant to take place in a concert hall and five might be like a mental hospital or something. Okay, here we are then, in the History Department Newspaper Archive. So, Omar, how's it going? <laughs> How long are you going to live? I have to find the newspaper Sebastian consulted. That would be a good start, yes. Okay, they're still pinned up. Can I leave? I did the same thing with Grace, can I... <laughs> I can't leave. I promised I'd help find Sebastian. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Oh, okay. This is a fairly small room. Nothing up there on that notice board. Through here, right? Yep. He's been well trained. Sounds fine. Let's go. Okay, I hear the whine of a camera. Did she? Okay. What's this? A fire alarm button? I must avoid touching that. You know what? I'd actually touch the shit out of that right now. Oh, wow. This is bloody huge. <laughs> Can I use all these doors? Maybe. Apparently not that one, though. Don't know why. Right, well, yeah, let's just start with this. Okay. I always hear a little something through all the doors, but it's not enough, I guess. Shit, okay. Uh, Northern Advertiser, 1980 to 89. 70 to 79, right. That's a newspaper, I assume. Right, we might be in the right place then. News World. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I d <laughs> Which newspaper are we looking for? And like, what, what year? News World, okay. Oh. 1920, 1930 there. More of the advertiser. Same thing on this side, I assume. Yeah, okay, wow, back to the, the 1880s. Shit. It just looks like it's the Northern Advertiser and News World. There's no other, uh, no other newspapers. Aside from those, is there anything to find? It doesn't really look like it. Nothing to actually pick up. Okay. Let's go out and let's see if we can maybe try another door. Do we have the same items and stuff? Okay, so you've got the shears as well as your reading glasses. And you collected the documents. They could come in handy. The coffee machine? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I, um, I don't like the, uh, the vending machines or something, right? Notes. They look like random words. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that got me! <gasps> Who was that? Who did I just see? Was that... Was that the hushes? Oh, a hiding spot? Great. Can I have a look at that? It looks like I can actually maybe use this computer. Sebastian would never use a computer. I don't even think he'd know how to turn it on, okay. <laughs> so I guess I'll ignore it as well. Uh, okay. So we're going through the motions here, I suppose. There's another copier. I wouldn't mind opening a window to get some air in here, but I've got more important things to do. Yeah, you certainly do. Well, this one's on. A broken computer? That's probably just a loose cable, to be honest. Right, okay. So hang on, is this the... What? <laughs> that was actually kind of good timing. Um, yeah, this is the door I can't get through because there's boxes in the way, I guess? Without help, I won't be able to move these boxes in a million years. Wait, you could... They're on wheels! You could just roll them out of here. 
it, it wouldn't take you a million years. It might take you a million nanoseconds. I don't know. Fucking hell. Right. What's this? Mm. More books. Mm. I like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, now we're talking. Toilets. Uh, okay. Again, a low murmur and the whine of a camera, but apart from that, it seems safe. Right, what have we got? Something in the sink. Uh, a block drain. But the sink isn't overflowing. Okay. Do oh, yep, hang on. <laughs> I don't know if shears are going to help. Or my reading glasses, but... Mm -mm. Dipping that in won't help. Okay. <laughs> no, probably not. I'll come back later. So much graffiti here. More than I was expecting. Something in the toilet? Oh, yeah. For God's sake, that's disgusting. Was that the rat I heard earlier? It's a horrible end. Ah! What? What am I doing here? I'm just just a professor. Right. What, what's going on here? My heart rate's increasing. Like the lighting's changed a little bit. I'm hearing breathing. I'm hearing rats. Is it safe to leave? I think it's safe to leave. Let's just leave. I'll have to come back to do something with that sink. Can I go to the ladies as well? Apparently yes. Unless they're locked. Okay. Alright. Graffiti Help. all over... <gasps> Help me please! Maxwell, is that you? Oh! Maxwell, it's Professor Nasiri. Are you okay? Can you get out? No, 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 no. I can't get out. My flashlight. It's out of batteries. I need batteries. You need ba Okay. All right. I'll try to help you with this. If I was playing as Grace, I could just give him my flashlight, I suppose. <laughs> this is so fucking fishy, though. I'll give you some shears. Or reading glasses. How's that? Batteries, okay. Yeah, do, like, do you think he's actually through that? I don't, to be honest. And I'm really not liking the mirrors here. The mirrors that aren't smashed. Should I even look at this? I think I know who did this. I hope they stop their nonsense soon. Hmm. Okay, so... Looks like we can't actually use any of these stools. Just out of interest, if I offer him my reading glasses? <laughs> no? Or the shears? He needed batteries for his torch. I wouldn't like to be here in the dark either. Well, come with me. I've got a lighter. He's not there, though. That's not him. That's the fucking presence. That's a wily trick. Just just go. Leave. Batteries, then. Okay. Alright, so... Through here. Again. Sounds cool. Let's go. No. Oh no, no, the door's been blocked with a chain. Ah. So, oh, I can't actually use my uh, my shears. Maybe from the other side? Hmm. Okay, well, maybe this door up here, maybe that goes to the same room or something? Okay, let's try it. There's a lock. I can't open it. I can't get inside this office. Okay. Uh, I don't suppose the shears can help me out with that, can they? No. All right. Why did I pick up the shears? If I don't, if I didn't use it in that first section, which I evidently didn't, why did I pick them up? Okay. Let's try this again. Mm -mm. Again, I need a key. Right. Okay, so, this side of the room. What's this? No one in the secretary's office either. Everyone's just dis- Oh. The secretary's office sensor is on. Is that that? I think a key would do, but the fact is, when there's nobody in the security's of in the secretary's office, this sensor keeps the door shut to unauthorized people. That's a fancy sensor. 
So this isn't going to work. Oh, it is going to work. Oh, it's this door here. With a fancy lock on it, right. Well, let's try it. Yeah, that's right. The motion sensor outside keeps the secretary's office closed. What's this? Hmm. Can we go through here? I think so. Yep. Right. Okay, what's this? We have a radio used by the janitor. Mm hmm. Great, it looks like the battery cover is stuck. I can't open it. Oh, this is where we get the batteries from? Could I com <laughs> Could I combine with the shears? Mm. No, I don't know how to do this. That's probably a bit overkill, actually. Hmm. The poor man has the patience of a saint. Okay, so I'm just bringing... I'm bringing the radio along. But that's where I get the batteries. Okay. Maybe there's something in the secretary's office that I could use to uh, to get the batteries out. But I can't get in there without fooling the sensor, I guess? Okay, so what about what about over here? Again? Sounds pretty chill on the other side. Okay. This is some of the renovation, I guess. For the love of God, where is everyone? Well, they were probably sucked underground by the abyss. Uh, I brought the secretary flowers today and she wasn't there. Nobody was. Where did everyone go? The whole crew was supposed to be here today to paint. If this is a joke, I don't think it's funny. I'm not painting by myself. I'm going to sit here and bum around until the joke is over. If you're not here by then, I'm out of here. You can tell the boss if you want. Tell him why you think it's funny for all of you to disappear just because I was half an hour late. See if he laughs. Oh, hang on. It's not funny. Seriously, it's not. Turn on the lights. Please, turn on the lights. Please. Sort of panicking there at the end. What's this? Tools left lying around. Okay. Ah, something I can pick up? A can of paint. That's totally dried out. Okay. Paintux, professional paint, right. So it's dried out. Hmm. Do you think I could use that with the sink? <gasps> with the, whoa. Oh shit, oh shit, no, no! Ah, no! Oh god, oh god! Oh god, that came out of nowhere, that, ah, no, 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 no! Come on, you can make it. No, get off my arm! Come on, we're so close. Did I... St I'm punishing this controller. Uh, that could just come out of nowhere, then. Great. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Anyway, I quit, motherfucker. Okay. Leave. Just leave. I don't want to be in this room anymore. We got the pain. I barely got out alive. Yeah, you're telling me. You want to pick up this ladder? Or is it a step ladder? The debate will rage on and on. Right. No, I'm not taking it with me. What What have we got here? Can't read that sign, Was unfortunately. It? Oh. So cold down there. Shh. I need to listen. <laughs> Sounds like there's no one in the meeting room, so... Haha! Got it all to myself. Hopefully. It was... So cold down there. I know, I know. You mentioned. Uh, what do we got? Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. Did they come from? Where were they taking me? Timbuktu, I don't know. In the name of God, what the heck are those pictures? Looks like some sort of statue. Oh where no, did I they come from. <laughs> where were they taking me? Oh man, Omar, shush, shush. He's freaking out. I understand. Okay. These notes are by the professors of the Modern History Department. The last meeting I know they held here was almost two months ago. Really? Can I do anything with the projector over here? No. Okay. Just just go. Okay. Yeah. 
so I want to avoid both of these rooms. <laughs> What's that? There's the kitchen. Another office. Okay, well, let's try this office. Maybe this one's unlocked. Mm -mm. Maxwell should have the keys. Yeah, okay, okay. Got to get him the batteries, but I can't get him the batteries quite yet. Unless I use the paint with the radio, but I don't understand how that would work. Okay, more books that shouldn't be here. Another office. I'm sure this one's going to be locked as well. Mm, no. Yep, okay, we need to get Maxwell's keys. Oh, what's this? These lockers are for the researchers that use the offices. I wonder who has the keys. Well, I'm just guessing, but probably Maxwell. My heart rate's going. Why is my heart rate going? No. Maybe because I knew it was going to be another locked door. Or maybe it's because I really don't like the vending machines. <laughs> Grace loves it, of course. Of course she does. That sounds good. Let's try it. Okay. I don't need Maxwell's keys for everything. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh. Okay, I get out of here quick. If not for uh, all the shit that I have to do. Right. There's a uh -huh. a paint roller. Well, I would think I would combine this with the paint, but it's dried mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I know how to sort that out. <laughs> Hang on. Does that say fuck you, Marino? Yes, it does. I think I know who did it. Oh, come on. Spill the beans. Who is it? Who's that naughty kid? Oh, hang on. Are we just going through... Oh, I see. So we might be able to cut the chain on the side. Mm. Yeah, mm. okay. No? Well, if not that, then what do I have the shears for? Whatever, whatever. Uh, okay. Back this way. Apparently it's safe. Yeah, I should go back to the uh, to the toilets and I should use the paint with the sink, I think. But let's try this door before that. It seems okay. Okay, yep. So we can get to the kitchen to see even more vending machines. There's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> And there's something under the table, too. Me. Well, there probably will be soon. What is it? A mechanical pencil. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's got a sharp point, but I think it's out of lead. So, I'm not going to be doing any drawing or writing or... Combining? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go. So I used it to, to pry open the, uh, the cover to get the batteries out. Good stuff. Well, I've got Maxwell's batteries now. I don't know if I want to give him the batteries, though, to be perfectly honest with you. Is it safe? Apparently it's safe. Okay. I'm just going to go back in here. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, so uh, I think I might actually use uh, one of these vending machines. <laughs> just, I'll bide my time in here for a while. Let me just check the map, because I don't want to go outside. So yeah, we need Maxwell's keys for uh, a few doors. Uh, there's the locker as well, I suppose. I need to do something over there with the sensor. Hmm. Okay, alright. I think I've waited long enough. Do you think she's gone? I hope she's gone. Oh fuck. I've gotta go I've gotta go through. Who are you? I I'm not even gonna try and interact with her because I'm fairly sure it would end in my death. Shit. Maybe she was doing a really, really good Maxwell impersonation? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so, was it...? No. Nope. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. What's going on? That's not her. What? Oh, shit. 
There's a table over here, right? Okay. I'm in the right spot if I need to use it, but I don't think I need to use it yet. Calm down, calm down. Everything is okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm certain now that they are the hushes. Two bastards killed Sophie. Poor Sophie. Poor, poor Sophie. Right, okay. Listen. Sounds okay. Sounds alright. So let's see. I can use something here, and I'm assuming it might be. Well, it could be the roller or it could be the paint. Let's just try the paint itself. It softened up the paint. Okay, yes. Good. Wet paint. And <laughs> now it's all on the floor. Uh, okay, if we combine that with the roller then. Yeah. Yeah. So now I've got a roller soaked in red paint. Am I going to uh, to clear away the graffiti and repaint all the rooms? Oh, I know what I'm going to do with it. It's for the sensor, I bet. It's got to be. Do I go and do that, or do I go and give Maxwell his batteries? Apparently it's safe. Maxwell, you in there? Hmm, let's find out. Maxwell, I got your batteries. I'm so sorry, oh, Omar. Thanks. Oh, it's so dark in here. It's so dark. Okay, thanks. These are the keys I need for the offices, I suppose. Oh. Yep, to the newspaper archive offices, right. Yeah, okay, great. Maxwell? I can't even try the door. I'll just let him... Oh, oh shit. Maxwell? 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 Are you there? My heart rate's going. I wonder why. Should I check... he's not here. Maybe it was that rat doing a good impersonation. I knew he wasn't going to be there. He, like everyone else, has just disappeared. They got sucked underground by the abyss, I think, but... Okay. Alright, so... I got Maxwell's keys now, so... This was locked, right? There's a lock, I can't open it. Well, let's use the... use the keys. Yeah, it fits. But let's listen in, just in case. Okay. Right. So what have we got here? Just a small office. What's that? These clothes look like one Sebastian normally wear. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. You might be in the right place, in the right office. Ah, yep, hang on. Mm. I can use this. Looks like it's in good condition. Right, okay. But I can't use it. And they're going to be in that first room that I had a look at, right? That was News World and the Northern Advertiser or whatever. But do I just rifle through each of the drawers and pick out all of them and... I think kind of like the puzzle with the book earlier. I need to know where I'm looking. Or what I'm looking for, precisely. I assume I still can't get those out of the way. What's that down there? Did I have a look at this? Right. They should be. And yeah, they should be in that room over there, I think. Let's try this office first, though. I've got the keys now. Mm. <laughs> don't sound so disappointed. Mm -hmm. The key fits. Don't worry about it. Okay. More newspapers over here. Surprise, surprise. What's this? Maybe Sebastian was here. Did he leave those rolls of film on the floor? Ah! Whoa! Sh oh, Christ. It's been a while. Yes, the door. Okay. I should be well acquainted with this one. God. 
What was his strength? I didn't look. It's not good. I don't think it's good at all. Oh my god. Oh, god. Thankfully my thumb oh. is always ready. <laughs> god is great. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> don't thank him. Thank me. I saved you. I hit the button. And while you're at it, thank him for almost mm -hmm. killing you. Same thing. I guess I could use either one of these. Haha, <laughs> go on. Are you serious? It's just really quiet. It's holding its breath. I can't even check anymore. Apparently it's safe. Ah, oh, dear me. Okay, so we've got those three offices over there, and there's the locker that I guess maybe I could get in. Um, I want to try the paint roller on <laughs> on the light. Why are you still here? I, I don't know what to do with her, you know? Like, maybe it's going to be okay? I'm just going to ignore her. Yeah. At least no one can tell me off here. Apart from that bitch behind you. <laughs> right, yes, just cover it in paint and it can't tell. I should be able to get into the secretary's office now. Right. Does she want to come with? Okay, let's listen in. Even though I just saw through there. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh huh. Okay. So on this side, hang on. What's that on the uh, on the table? A plastic key. Oh. It belongs to some drawer or cupboard. I know it doesn't open a door. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It was just dropped in a rush. Uh, over here. Hmm. I wasn't expecting the cupboard to be open, and it's not. Well, I've got a key. No? Okay. <laughs> I guess no, that's not going to work. Ah, what's this? Okay, so... 17th of August, Jill wrote down room A, Professor Wesk, B, Husher, C was empty. Um, Becca, read this as soon as you see it. Professor Husher is acting weird. He wanders around the archive all day, lost in thought. It's odd, even for him. He barely even answers me. Sometimes he carries a music box he winds up every now and then. Mr. Spencer has taken him to task several times, and whenever he does that, it looks as if Husher has just woken up. Then he goes back to his office and spends hours holed up in there. Chris says he's the same at night, if not worse. We think he slept in his office because... Because what? Ah. Because no one has seen him leave, and William says he heard strange noises that sounded like screams. But when he went to check, no one was there. Today he asked me about the Northern Advertiser archives. A small newspaper from some godforsaken little town from 1913. What the hell would he be looking for there? If you notice anything really weird, call security. No one has seen Max for days, and something tells me that before the holidays are over, something is going to happen. I have a bad feeling about this. Right, so I suppose everyone around here kind of heard the song, right? If he kept playing the, uh, the music box over and over. Poor bastards. Something else? No, oh, no. It's been there for weeks. Nobody's picked it up. And nobody will pick it up. Okay, I guess that's it. So, it's the Northern Advertiser, 1913. That's what we're looking for. That's the microfiche thing that we're looking for. I guess I could go check that out. Is she still out there? I bet she is. Oh, come on. Right, I, I don't want to bump into you accidentally. Okay, so, uh... The meeting room I, I got in, didn't I? So. Oh! Someone's playing a sick joke on me. A really sick joke. This one. This one I couldn't get in because I needed a key. Mm -mm. Maxwell shouldn't have the keys. You should have the keys. Uh-huh. Exactly, let's move on. 
Okay, let's move on now. <laughs> I've checked. Right. Uh, yeah. Another computer? Okay, Professor Lowry normally uses this office. The students can't stand her. Grace included. Why is that? Again. Professor Nasiri, give me the inside scoop. Is that it? I guess that's it. I'm really curious as to what would happen if I bump into her. But it's going to get me killed. Well, it's going to get Omar killed. No. Come on. Okay. Uh, what's this? Mm. Dark paintings. Very much Sebastian's style. Right, let's see then. Uh, a hasty note. La Grand Amsberg. Wealthy but fallen on hard times during the 20th century. What happened? Death of Argos Legrand. Check records and investigate the family, past and present. Heirs, distant relatives. I have to find out about his life, but also his death. 17th of March. And that's it. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, maybe I could get even more specific when I'm looking for the, uh, the right microfiche thing. But that appears to be it. Okay, let's leave. she doing? The floor isn't that dirty, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> someone's in there. I don't know who, but um, someone's in there. I guess the secretary didn't know either, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Got dangerously close to bumping into her there. Okay, so back in here. Yep, it's safe. It's safe. So, Northern Advertiser, right? 19... I think it was 1913. So, that's gonna be... Hang on. Oh, hang on. We're getting this again. And keep displaying the door and the family. It's the hushes. <laughs> Let's ignore that, though. Let's just have a look through here. That's news world again. Shit. 1889. Okay, well, it might be on the other side then. 1920, 29. 1930. Th oh, hang on. Maybe it was back here in the corner then, I guess? Finally. Finally, yeah. Hang on. Northern Advertiser 1919. Yes, yes, okay, so I can I can use the plastic key, maybe? The key has opened the drawer, of course. I'm taking the microfiche with me, yes. You better. Oh. Without these devices, there wouldn't be enough space in the world to store all these newspapers that are filed here. I suppose not. It's crazy, isn't it? So, I've seen various computers that can read this stuff. So, yeah, let's go... Let's go have a look. If I can make it to the door. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's it's still in that office at the end, isn't it? She's still there. Right, well, I don't have to go past her this time. Um, I guess I could just use this one. Right. Here we go, now I can actually use it. Oh. <laughs> Take a load off. You've earned it. I see. So we do have to get very, very specific. And then we press the fetch button. Okay. Oh! Don't press the fucking fetch button! Oh my god! Wait, is it actually broken? I- Oh, you mother- Right, okay. I was just doing that as a test. I knew that wasn't right. It was, it was meant to be the 17th of March, I think, 1913. Jesus Christ. I thought the, <laughs> there was another one in this office down here, right? And there's probably another one in that middle one, but those boxes are so damn heavy. And I don't understand wheels. 
Okay, try it again. <laughs> Don't Whoa. press the fetch button. Not yet. Alright. Oh, that's how we print it off. And that's how we get to different sections. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm remembering this right. It's 17th of March. And I think it was 1913, if we can make it all the way up there. Yes, we can. So fetch that. Okay. So now we can choose the specific page. Probably should print all of it off, to be honest. Crime reports, I assume. That is that the house that you know we went back to to give the uh, the box back to Ariadne. I think it could be actually. Print that. Okay, is that it? Oh, thank God, I've done it. I found what Sebastian was looking for. Okay, so let's see. The news about his death. Argos Legrand. The Legrand family heir and owner of the business conglomerate LGA Inc. has died in mysterious circumstances along with his wife and his elder daughter, who was eight years old. The events took place late last night in the family's holiday home, where they were spending some time in spring after the well-known magnate had been on a trip. Although the authorities have said very little in their public statements and the lines of investigation are open, the strongest theory so far is that the family has been the victim of a violent robbery, with the only survivor being the younger daughter, Ariadne who is safe and sound under the care of police officers. And there's no, nothing on the other side. And then you can see him hanged there. Yeah. Right. So, I guess that was it, right? I go back to the office now, I assume. Unless there's something else I need to do here. Fuck. It's a chain, you moron. Use the shears. Right. Whoa. Oh, shit. What if I didn't have the shears? There's something here. A note from a certain Sylvia that says, Professor Husha, remember to pick up your typewriter and the rest of your belongings from the library desk. This is the university library. If you need your own space, you can use your office. If Husha left documents in there, it may be worth taking a peek, too. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I think this is part of what Husha was investigating. Let me see. God, did you read that? Argos Legrand, heir to the Legrand family and owner of the LGA Incorporated business conglomerate has died under mysterious circumstances along with his wife and eight-year-old daughter. It occurred last night at the family's holiday home, where they were spending part of the spring after the famous magnate's most recent trip. While police remain open-minded in their official statements and maintain that all lines of inquiry remain open, popular theories suggest that the family fell victim to a violent robbery, leaving the younger daughter, Ariadne, the sole survivor. She is currently safe in police custody. Oh my god, they're all dead. This is a dead end. Husha left some documents at the library. Maybe there's something there. It's all that's left to check. So, there's another section. This episode isn't over quite yet, I assume. I hope so. I'm enjoying this episode. Quite a lot, actually. So, do we get to choose who we go in there with? I think so. Yeah, yeah, so is it going to be Daniel, Omar, or Grace? I'm siding with probably Daniel, because Grace has done her bit, Omar's done his bit. They've both nearly died a couple of times. Daniel, apart from getting stuck in the dark at the very beginning of the game, he hasn't really done much, so maybe it should be him next. But leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and whoever you choose, I'll enter the library with, alright? Thanks for watching, see you next time. So yeah, the box is in darkness. The guy is now missing, right? Okay, where did he go? Let's see. Is this gonna work how I think it's gonna- Oh, that's fucking awesome! I guess something's gonna jump out at me. Hopefully not literally. Okay. Did the lights just turn off? Okay! Oh 
god. Oh no! Yep, okay. Got ya. Oh no! Ha! Ah. Oh, I thought I was gonna get dragged under. Notes. They look like random words. <laughs> Fuck! So hang on, is this the... What? <laughs> that was actually kind of good timing. Without help, I won't be able to move these boxes in a million years. What's this? Mm. More books. Mm. I like that. <laughs> Do you think I could use that with the sink? <gasps> with the... Whoa. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. No, no! Did I... St <laughs> I'm punishing this controller. So cold down there. Shh. I need to listen. <laughs> Apparently it's safe. Okay. I'm just gonna go back in here. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to try and interact with her because I'm fairly sure it would end in my death. Did he leave those rolls of film on the floor? Ah! Whoa! Sh oh Christ, it's been a while. Oh, Thankfully my thumb oh. is always ready. <laughs> oh, okay. And then we press the fetch button. Okay. Oh! Ah! It's changing, moron. Use the shears. Right. Whoa! Oh, shit! What if I didn't have the shears? 